Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here for my daily video. We are almost to the end of November. Yes. I don't know why I'm excited about that. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go into December. I don't know. It's nuts, just nuts. So our topic for the day is a tip and tricks. And I'm going to do that first because I have a great close up to answer that age old question. Why do I need to use a fourth inch seam allowance on my blocks? Or you could think of it as why can't I use any seam allowance I like as long as it's the same for the entire block? Aha, that my friend will cause a problem. So let's take a look. So let me show you why using a fourth of an inch seam allowance for patchwork is necessary. It's because that's how the pattern was written and you can't just use a bigger seam allowance and expect a patchwork block to be the accurate size. And I'm going to show you that within two seams why you're going to have major problems if you're not using the size seam allowance for quilting, which is fourth of an inch. That's the standard because people will often say, oh, I'll just make all my seams the same size. It'll be bigger and easier, but that's going to really mess you up very, very quickly. So we're going to show, I'm going to show you here a little sample. These are two and a half inch squares. So you can see right here on the ruler, two and a half. And then this guy's two and a half and regular patchwork. We would sew them together with a fourth inch seam allowance which would give you, ta-da, this one. So now he is a unit that is two and a half by four and a half. And that's regular patchwork. That's how the pattern's math is done. And so we know it'll be accurate as you go along. That's why I always have you measuring these units as you progress through your pattern. Each time you sew a seam, measure it so that you know that you're accurate. Now we're going to sew it to another strip. So let me just get this. Um, we're going to sew this to a two and a half by four and a half inch strip. So these guys are going to go together to make one unit of a quilt block. And these are just squares. We haven't, I'm going to show you this with squares. There's nothing more complex. As you progress, it could get really crazy if you're not using the quarter inch seam. So these two would be sewn together and then you would have this unit, which is now two and a half by four and a half. Okay, and so is the other side. This side here is also two and a half by uh, four and a half. There you go. So it is a square and it's mathematically correct, which means these two inside the quilt are two and a half, two inch squares. And this is a two by four rectangle when it's in the quilt. All right, so you got it. Okay, now we're going to show you what happens. I'm going to show you what happens <laughs> when you use a seam allowance that is bigger than a fourth of an inch. So that's this guy. I did this big fat seam allowance, which it doesn't really matter what your seam allowance is. If it is not a fourth of an inch, this will occur. This problem will occur. So now I will take that block over there and show you how right away, when I do, if you do the test, like I tell you in all of my patterns, check the size. Now, instead of it being two and a half, two and a half this way and four and a half, it's two and a half by four. So we're short, we're too short on this side. All right, so let's say we're gonna use it anyways. We're like, oh, well, we'll just make the next seam wide as well and it'll work. That's, that's the way some people will present it. So let me just put the next square because you haven't changed the pattern. You have cut this square the exact size the pattern called for, which is two and a half by four and a half, and they don't fit. See, this one is too short. It's not going to match. If I put it down here to sew, they don't match. If I were to actually sew it, <laughs> they don't match. So there you go within one, so we do one seam. When you do your second seam, you're already in trouble. You're already way, way in trouble from having accurate patchwork or even having a block that works. You can't even put them together because the other problem is, is when I sewed this, it is now short on this side. This side is short. Let me show you from the original block. So you can get put both of these in here. 
Here's the block with fourth inch seam allowance. Here's the block that is not. Do you see that this short on the bottom by a quarter of an inch? Uh, so it's, and it's short over here. So what do you do with this guy? So if you have this inaccurate block, how are you going to sew it to the next units and the next units? And that's why it's much better to use the fourth inch seam allowance like the pattern calls for. So now you see why a fourth inch seam allowance gets you the exact size size block you need versus just using a consistent seam allowance no matter what it is, you will end up with blocks that just don't work out. Uh, and the big key is just like I was showing you, every seam, if you're having some troubles, every seam, check it. But you do have to use a fourth inch because that's how the patterns were written. So now you know. Great news, great news, right? Everything is solvable. <laughs> and that's why it's a fourth of an inch. So what did I do the other few other days? Well, I decorated, I did my, my decorating and I finished my zigzag table runner. Woohoo! So here it is, ta-da! And last year I did a zigzag table runner. Uh, I've done several of them actually during the year. They're just fun and fast. Uh, for all the different holidays I've been doing them and so I did the binding which is not uh, the same stripe in here from that fabric line I didn't have one of those stripes but I like it it's it complements I think it complements and then I had the gifted fabric on the back so I could just flip it over if I wanted a light color one one year uh, this would work I am going to end up putting this actually it's going to kind of lay uh, like a little bit over my top of my bookcase like that and then I'm going to put my Santas on top of it so that is what I'm going to decorate and my Santas I need some little I guess I'll have to go order some like little greenery or something to go around them because now I have this nice long space to put them and the other finish ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, drum roll <laughs> is the pillow and the, remember the little tiny uh, pillow for my god the 10 inch it's a 10 inch pillow which is like if you laid it flat and it didn't have any stuffing in it it'd be 10 inch but you know it's sort of like an 8 inch when <laughs> when it's a uh, 3d but here is the uh, hot chocolate cross stitch and for those of you who have followed me for a while i've been telling you for quite a long time that i am a baby cross stitcher you know i have not done much cross stitch and i'm just sort of getting into it and having a lot of fun and this is actually one of the first things that I've finished in a long time. Um, years ago I did uh, cross stitch, but this is the first one that I've done in forever that I finished it myself. Cindy has been stitching things, those little ones that I'm doing on the, the hanger back there. Cindy is stitching those for me, so I'm not stitching them. I'm finishing them, but she's doing the cross stitch. So now I'm going to uh, either start that snowman or at first I think I'm going to do a little bit of work on one of the others. So I've got my whole bin of, see the bin of cross stitch uh, bags here, and I'm going to pick one of those. I might go back and do some of the cross stitch from the charity quilt that ended the beginning of the year because I um, broke both my wrists, like, and I still have a little bit left to do on that, so I couldn't work on it anymore. So I might go ahead and look at getting that one, you know, working a bit on that one, doing like, like I see the other cross stitch people do, you know, do a little bit on this one, do a little bit on that one. So, you know, you're not always just going all the way through on one piece, so switching it up, making it fun. But I got this one done. I'm super excited about that. And I want to show you, uh, you know, right now, this is Saturday. So I think you still have today at the Fat Quarter Shop for their Black Friday sale. Um, and it, even if it's not on sale, it's still a neat, neat thing to have is they have still have a few of these left which are the French General Basics. And I love these basic bundles that you can buy because then you have the exact color. So it's nice for matching and it's also nice if you just need, you know, they're fat quarters so they, they can be used obviously. But if you decided, oh, I'd really like to use this, this you know, color here for the background of my quilt. Well, then you have a piece of it and you can match up your fabrics and see if that's going to work. Or particularly with the ones that are a color. Well, is that red gonna work? Or do I need a, another kind of red? Uh, so I think uh, these are fabulous and I'm gonna, I'll link you up to that. 
Plus, while that and the um, Connecting Threads is having their uh, Black Friday sale too, so you can get a Fat Quarter Bundle to do the Home Is So Along. Yes, 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 be sure that you get that uh, because why not get it on sale, right? Hey, and get your background fabric, you know, um, if you need backings, get those, get all that stuff when it's on sale, you know, like take advantage of it if you can. Um, now remember Monday, we will have the first assignment to do our Sew a Jelly Roll quilt together. And so I'm, I'm really excited. That's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of you have been digging around in your uh, fabrics and showing your jelly rolls that you're going to use over at uh, my Facebook page, Quilt Along with Pat Sloan. Yes, I love it. And please subscribe while you're here. Go down below, please subscribe uh, and click the bell. Then you can get notices to your phone. That's the only way you can get the notices, uh, but it's worth it. I have that on several people's uh, YouTube channels so that I know when they put a new one out. Mwah. I love you. See you online.